Big school rides. Something falls out. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. Taking me a few casts this morning, but I finally got one. Probably throwing in about five, six redfish this morning. And there's our first one of the day. And I want to show you guys this lure here. It's pretty neat. Man, these birds are screaming. Oh, there he is. That is might possibly be the first redfish on an NLBN mini mullet right there. Beautiful fish. Uh, he was in a school of probably five or six and right before him about another school of five or six passed up. They were not super interested in it. And uh, for whatever reason, this guy was on it, killed it, ran up right in front of the school and smoked it. So I'll talk about this lure here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and release this guy. And uh, yeah, let's put him back in the water here. Beautiful fish. Go ahead and pop that right out of them. Back in the water for you. Beauty. Beauty. So I'm about to pick up my camera and I see a bunch of more fish right here. A bunch more reds. I'm gonna walk up to them. Or I think they're snook. Yeah, they're snook. Oh! One was on it. There he is right there. Terrible cast. This little guy right here. Eh. He's chasing it, but won't commit. I got something. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Said, well, not a big fish. He actually he looked big. 28. His mouth came up right up on it. All right, there we go. Two fish in about two minutes, I'd say, on the same bait. I'm gonna try to show you guys this bait here in a second after I release this guy. But this is, once again, the NLBN Mini Mullet. This thing is gonna be an absolute game changer. Ooh, he's got that line right under his gills. Going for mullet. Chill, chill, chill. He's just a little guy. Just a little guy. Right there. Smoked it. Smoked it. Beauty. That is a beauty. About a maybe a 20 incher. Not too big. Go ahead and get him unhooked here. Oh, he already is unhooked. He's falling right out. And put this guy back in the water. What a good start to the morning. Two fish in literally <laughs> in seconds. I was about to pick up the camera to film a little intro and I look up and there's more fish. There he goes. So sick. So sick. All right. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another video today. So getting started off real hot there. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm working with here. Like I said, the NLBN mini mullet. This is basically the same. Well, it's the exact same thing as a little mullet. If you guys know what that is, it's it's this in five inches. This is about three and a half. Um, and it's actually in the color of, this is my personal color, the JM Murder Mullet color. Red belly, black back, and then some red speckles in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and it's gonna be a game changer, guys. That mini mullet for smaller size fish. Uh, for a long time, the, the Lil Mullet, uh, the five and a half inch bait was pretty good. Uh, well, actually it was great. My biggest redfish trout and snook came on a bit on a little mullet last year And there was a lot of times where I had you know average size fish like your casual inshore fish 
like your little redfish, trout, snook, like, like we just saw right there. They try to eat it, they just can't. It's like they just need a little bit smaller profile to uh, really kill it and uh, NLBN made it happen, and I'm really excited for that bait. Now, this is not like a uh, sponsored video. This is, I'm just going over um, like their prototype bait. So I definitely love this thing. The little mullet is one of my top two um, baits that I throw, probably the little mullet and the gulp shrimp. I could pretty much get away with catching almost every single fish in shore. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fish it today. We are on the, uh, on the paddle board. This is my boat Rackham that I got uh, about a month ago now. This thing is super, super sick. I really like it. And it is loaded up. We got my uh, 2500 pen slammer set up on a uh, Fenwick HMG seven foot. And then uh, I got another setup back here, which is a pen con or pen clash two 3000 on a seven six. So that's what we're working with today. We're gonna go ahead and knock out some fish today. I'm really excited. We finally have a good day that's actually calm. It's been blowing for the past month, it feels like, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if we, maybe we can make a slam today. We'll go, we'll just continue whacking the fish. I'll, I'll take that first, first like five minutes, two fish. I will take it. Let's go guys. Now, one thing I didn't mention that I should have just mentioned is this thing takes a 2-0 uh, swim bait hook. Got it rigged up right there. The regular low mullet takes a 5-0 and then uh, something new that's going to be coming out later this year or hopefully all three sizes are out by the summer and you guys will be able to get them uh, The big mullet which will be I think an eight and a half inch basically a little mullet So three different sizes. I'm really excited about and uh, yeah, NLBN has been a sponsor of the channel now for about a year They make some really awesome baits. I just can't be more excited for a few other things They're gonna come out with as well this year, but can't talk about those right now i can talk about the little mullet or should i say mini mullet i gotta get that naming <laughs> down i'm gonna probably keep calling this thing a little mullet even though its name is gonna be mini mullet so let's see if we can find a trout here or at least some fish that are bigger than the ones i just knocked out nice snook right here didn't like that See ya. That's a spooked fish right there. I don't know if it was the board that spooked him or my cast. I think it was maybe just when you switch from your rod to your or from your paddle to your rod on a paddle board. Oh, it is like it's like oh so hard not to make a noise. What's that game? Oh, there's another redfish right here. We're snuck. Ah, oh, spooked that one too. Oh, it's like playing Operation, where you're like trying to stay dead silent, trying not to make one wrong move, because if that paddle taps your board, it's so loud. All right, while I'm thinking about it, I'm grabbing another bait out of here. I got a bunch of different colors. I think I'm going to go with uh, this one right here. This is the Fresh Mullet, I believe. So we're going to switch up colors here, just try something different. I just spooked a couple of them. Could be because that murder mullet is just a little bit too dark. Spooked a few redfish, but we'll go ahead and rig this guy up. Comes with a twist lock. Just rig it through the nose just like this. Twist that thing on there. And then uh, we're going to rig this through the uh, belly and out the back. Got to go pretty deep in there, I've kind of learned. Kind of as far back as you can. There it is. That looks pretty good right there. That is a uh, rigged mini mullet. All right, let's keep fishing here. There's a snook or a redfish popping stuff under this tree right here. I think it's a redfish. Yeah, what's well, a redfish? It's eating on the surface. So sick. That's a nice one too. There we go. There we go. 
Alright guys, that is redfish number two. It's a nice one. He thumped that. Thumped it. That was on the uh, silver mullet color. That one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heck yeah, boy. <laughs> Heck yeah, buddy. That's about a 20, probably about a 24 inch red there. Smoke the mini mullet. He's up on the shoreline popping things. He must have been popping glass minnows or little mullet or something like that. Throw up under there. He absolutely killed it. He was all over it. What a beauty. All right. Just gonna slide this guy off. Hooked him perfectly. I'm pretty happy with this hook so far. It's a 2 0 BKK. Drop that out of there. Lay this guy back in the water. There he goes, shooting right back up the shoreline. I'll take it. That was on the uh, fresh mullet color. How sick was that? I'll take it. There it is. The mini mullet. It's catching reds. That was my biggest issue with the uh, little mullet. Is it didn't do like a whole. It didn't do amazing with redfish because it was just their mouths are just a little bit too small to get it. But this is like the perfect size. They will kill it. So, all right, three fish down. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Big red, big red, big red, big red right next to me. Take me up in the trees. What a sick fish. <laughs> Heck yeah. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. We got 30 pound leader, so it should be fine for a redfish like this. He's probably about 27 inches. Oh, he's not happy. Stop him with the slammer. Get out of here. Oh. He was cruising up under that stick there, made a nice cast, kept it low, or I stayed low so he couldn't see me. How sick is that? Oh, he's on that stick. Oh, he about broke me on that stick right there. All right, come here, bud. Work with me here. Oh, that was sick. Crushed the mullet. Get out of there. Lots of sticks he can hook me on. That was so fire. He literally chased it up, was on it, on it, on it, took one twitch and he just engulfed it. Like it disappeared instantly. Yeah, this fish is about 27. <laughs> Might even be bigger than 27. I don't know if I have a ruler on me today. I think he's bigger than 27. How sick, how sick is that? Whew. Beauty, that thing is a beauty. <laughs> yeah, it's about 27 to 30, somewhere in that range. Crushed the mini mullet. <laughs> so sick, so sick. I knew this size uh, little mullet would be perfect for redfish. And it is. That was so perfect. The way he just chased it down, he was on it like the whole way. It's like he wasn't super aggressive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay with me here. He wasn't super aggressive on it, but he was following it and just like in one <laughs> one gulp took it inside into the into his mouth. Set the hook. And we got him. Pop that little hook out. The hook's working about perfect for this, for that mini mullet. 
What a beauty. Oh, oh, we're catching some fish. Let's go, guys. Let's go. All right. Let me see. I might have to uh, put this one back in the bag and grab a fresh one. Good thing about all these, like, cuts and and uh, bro broken baits, we can repair that with Mend It. Oh, that's fire. I'm going to grab a... Let me maybe try a different color here. We've caught fish on the murder mullet. We've caught fish on a uh, fresh mullet. Let me see what other colors I got here. Ooh, this is fire. We got to go with this next. All white. That is, uh, I think this color is Palm Beach Pearl. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll get it rigged up and we'll get it going. Fish are eating well, so I don't see why they wouldn't eat this. They're eating, they ate dark, they ate light. We'll try an all white bait here. Oh, I can't wait for these guys, these guys to be out. You guys are going to love them. You guys are going to catch a lot of fish on these things. All right, we'll get this rigged up here. Come on. All right. That's rigged and ready to go. Just all over it. Look at him right there. Hey, buddy. He's probably not gonna eat. Yeah, he's not gonna eat. That was pretty neat. That red fish was about another one in there. That red fish was about six inches from the board. Just calmly turned around and went the other direction. Bunch of redfish right here. Got him! <laughs> there we go. That was so sick. Oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's redfish, what, number three? Or have I caught four redfish? I can't even remember. Oh, he's doing me. He's taking me in circles right here. Make the right cast on him. And then gears start to turn and pop. <laughs> this is going to be my go-to bait. This and probably the gulp shrimp can catch literally anything inshore. Pretty much anything. This guy's got a few spots too. Come on, come on, come on. That's a nice one. He's not much smaller than the last one I caught. He's probably 25. Thumped it, man. Thumped it. Absolutely thumped it. So there we go. We got another one on the white. Oh, that's that Palm Beach Pearl. What a sick fish. This is honestly not much smaller than the last fish I caught. Probably about a 20, 26, I'd say. I gotta get a ruler put on this board somewhere. Really nice fish. He's bleeding there a little bit, so let me go ahead and, uh, oh, come here, bud. Let me get you, uh, get you undone here. All right, came out easy. It's a little blood, a little nose piercing. You'll be okay. All right, there he goes. That's redfish number four, I think. Unless I'm counting wrong, that's my fifth fish of the day. All right, guys. Well, that is redfish number four, fifth fish of the day. We're working them pretty good right now. Like they're eating really well. This is the best I've seen fish eat in like past couple months. I think that's because the water's warmed up. No, it's it's definitely because the water's warmed up. But they're chewing. And uh, one thing, real quick, that I totally forgot to mention, which is what I planned on doing the first thing I got out here. Was kind of walking you guys through what happened with the tournament so i planned on making a tournament video i was doing the uh i think it was the beach and board fest uh sup and paddle or sup and kayak uh fishing tournament and i planned on making a video about it and it was just like the worst weather possible i ended up knocking out one red fish which was about 16 inches which wasn't good enough to win anything um it was a really awesome tournament it just wasn't it was terrible weather it was literally blowing 30 35 mile an hour 
and it was almost unfishable. Um, catching that one redfish didn't like place me, but honestly, I don't think more than like 10 redfish were caught out of 130 anglers. It was, uh, it was rough fishing. So I did film a few things, just, it just didn't wrap up to be a video. So we're out here today. I felt like I owed you guys a paddleboard video and we're whacking them right now. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, throw on a new mini mullet. I'm going to try to see if I can find a different color because I'm just trying to catch a fish on every color because it seems like they'll eat it. Um, so yeah, let me see what colors I got. We'll rig one up and keep fishing. Let's go. All right, let me reach down in here, see what other colors I got, if I even have any. Ooh, I got these two colors. I got this light brown and then this darker brown with red and black flakes in there. I think I'm going to go with like this light brown here. We'll throw that, keep switching it up. And I should have said this earlier if I didn't say this. The plan is for these guys to come out. Um, I think by the summertime and uh, by that time as well little mullets the what will be the medium size mullet will be um, basically in full production they will be always in stock so there won't be a need for like uh, there'll still be limited batch drops of special colors but there will be some standard colors that will always be in stock they won't be hand or they won't be made for each individual drop they'll be uh well, I don't know what the word is. They'll just be in full production, ready to go, so you guys can buy them, and you won't have to wait for limited batch drops and things like that. But there it is. That's our next color. I rigged that one up a little wonky. Uh, I might got to fix this, but a little brown should work as well. Let's do it. Little red fish right here. Not tricking you, buddy. Smart. Oh, got a little bit too close to him. I saw some ripples up on up in the uh, branches there. So I kind of peeked over, looked at it, slowed down, looked at him, and he was looking right at me. Smart fish. so sick oh that was sick that's a nice snook oh that's an eat that is an eat I'll loosen up just a little bit there's fish all over the place here that was an eat and a half that was an eat and a half on that snook looks like he's about 22, 23 inches. Hold. Oh. Snook eats on low mullet. Almost, they're nothing better. Pull you up on the board. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's the one I've been looking for today. He's probably about 24, maybe 25. Nice fish, a really nice fish. Killed it, absolutely killed it in this muddy backwater. I'm gonna go for a quick unhook here. Pop this right out of them. Just lay him straight back in the water. We'll get him on his way. See if we can find another redfish or snook in this little pond. Yep, see ya. Oh yes, I heard something blow up in that corner. So I was just making some blind casts around, hoping I can find something. What do you know? A nice fat snook sitting back here. Oh, figured it's about time to eat something. Regen some health. Let's see what we got. Sun chips, clementines, banana, watermelon. What we got in here? Peanut butter and jelly know exactly what it is because I made it bussin put all the jelly in the middle pretty good though one question what's y'all's favorite sun chips and they got like all of them but 
Garden salt is pretty good too. 210 calories per package. Not bad. Nice red in front of me. Yep, that's it. That might be a snook. Well, my drag's pretty loose. No, it is the red. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, this fish is fired up. He's under the board. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Came up and slurped it. That's that all black mini mullet right there. That's redfish number five, I believe. Woo. Get him in here. There it is. Redfish on that solid black mini mullet there. What a beauty. Let me slip this right out of his lips here. Just like that. Nice one. I'll lay this guy right back into the water. He was fired up the whole time. I'm just gonna toss him back. Oh my gosh, he just <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> he just shot straight up into the mud there and got and hit his head on the front of the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing was fired up from the beginning. I honestly couldn't see him there when I made my cast. I mean I saw him, made my cast, and he kind of disappeared on me. So I just kept working it, working it, and slump, he sucked it down. And that's that right there. They're killing it today. Killing it. All right. Well, I was gonna go push up back into this creek, but with that guy right there, I think I will just uh, hang out here. He can have all of that. All right, bud. I'll see you. Don't want to bother you. It's about a nine footer sitting right there up on the shoreline, and this water is about six inches deep. So I'm gonna turn around. Go the other direction. <laughs> oh man, I, I really almost didn't see him. He's sitting dead still. There he goes. He's lurking back into the water now, I believe. Oh, yeah. I don't think I want to mess with him. I think he's got a few pounds on me. Maybe a few more teeth too. That's funny. Huge school of black drum right here. Oh, got one! <laughs> Smoke the mini mullet, big black drum. <sighs> he dumped that thing. There he goes. How sick is that? Big drum too. <sighs> this might be the last fish of the day. I gotta make it count. <laughs> I can't believe he ate that. I cannot believe he ate that. There's a school, probably a hundred black drums sitting right here. And I was just trying to finesse one, finesse one with that black, that black mini mullet. I found one. Big one too, he's like a 25 pounder probably. Oh boy. How sick. Big fish. Yeah, it's a big fish. Might step out right here so he doesn't drag me to the end of the earth. A slammer drag sounds pretty good. I think we can get him right here. It's a nice fish. Yeah, he's probably 20, 25 pounds. It's a big one. Oh. 
I mean, yeah, he thumped it. He thumped it all right, because I felt him. Whoa. He's drumming and then freaked out. Come on, bud. It's a big fish. Oh, we got him. We got him. Put him right here on the board. <laughs> Check that out right in the corner of the mouth there. How sick. <laughs> That's ridiculous. On an NLVN mini mullet. Big black drum. All right, I'm gonna pop this thing out of his lips there. He's, he's drumming. Y'all hear that? Still have yet to really get a clear answer on what the drumming actually means. I've heard it's for mating, I've heard it's for to spook things off or scare off predators. Still not really 100% sure what it means. Think I need pliers for this one? Got that out real quick. These are pen pliers. Highly recommend these pen pli pliers. They sell them at most tackle shops. They are really quality pliers. Oh, but we'll put them back in the water here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And there he goes, quick and easy. See ya. <laughs> that is crazy. I was basically just jigging this thing in front of the school and I got, got thumped. So I think black drum probably do eat bait fish if they get a, get the opportunity. That basically proves it right there. I don't know how often they do eat it, but I feel like they would try. I know the big ones, like off the beach, those things will eat pretty much anything. Maybe they eat better when they're schooled up, and that's exactly what they were there. So, mini mullet, it gets chewed. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's insane. That is insane. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't like that. Wind pushed me right through them. Thought maybe I could get one to eat real quick, but I think we'll start to uh, head on in here. That was a crazy, crazy school of drum. Salt me. Oh, that's what I was looking for out of the school of black drum. It's not a black drum, but it's something even better. Check that out. Oh, look at the trout behind him. Look at that trout right there. He's fired up on the other one. We step off real quick. There it is, the perfect fish, the one that we didn't catch today. The trout, yes sir. I haven't seen you guys in a while. You guys are a bit absent. Possibly going extinct, unfortunately. Beautiful fish. I'll just go ahead and just keep him in the water here, get him unhooked and let him go. Pop him out and send him on his way. See ya. Yeah, let's go, trout. Trout on the mini mullet. The one fish we didn't have today was a trout. I guess we're missing a tarpon, but black drum, redfish, snook, trout, I'll take it. And trout are really hard to find right now, so that was pretty neat. Came out of that school of black drum right there. Honestly, didn't expect that. Something big right here. Oh, missed him. All right, guys, well, I am uh, a little burnt out on the day. The wind started to pick up, and uh, fish just, uh, well, they, I did just miss a really nice fish, I will say that, but uh, I think that's gonna be the last one of the day. I just missed opportunity there. Had that, like, it's probably a 30-inch red just come up and just absolutely blast the uh, the mini mullet there and just missed it, and then uh, came back around for uh, another swipe and 
got too smart by that time. So this was the uh, kind of the first look at the uh, NLBN mini mullet and it is, it's gonna, I'm super excited for it. Um, it's gonna answer a lot of questions in inshore fishing. I feel like you're gonna be able to catch reds, snook, trout um, at any given time because of that smaller profile. You won't have like, you know, your average size redfish and your little snook having trouble to, and popping and, you know, missing the uh, bigger size little mullet. And uh, that'll be the answer. Throw the little bit smaller one, you probably catch more fish. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. We whacked the fish today. What we get like that, that big black drum, I remember. Can't forget that one. Had uh, about four or five redfish, uh, two or three snook, and a trout. So we had, that was about a slam right there. That is some type of slam. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that uh, red subscribe button right below the video and turn on post notifications. It'll uh, keep you notified for when I upload. And I think that is it. I'm ready to go home. Got to use the wind. It's on my back right now. Got to use it as soon as possible to get back to the ramp because it's honestly, I wasn't expecting it to blow on my back. So time for me to shoot back to the ramp. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in that next video.